Good morning! We are on day two and we are at the Quality Inn in Twin Falls, Idaho. And where are you at, Taylor? At the hotel. At the hotel? Yeah? What do you think about the hotel? I like it. You like it? Taylor always gets really excited when she's in the hotels. So we did not film our dinner last night because like I predicted, we were too busy grubbing because Arctic Circle was so good. Taylor, what did you have at Arctic Circle? Um, shrimp. Shrimp. French rice. French rice. Ice cream. <laughs> what? What else? <laughs> ice cream right now. <laughs> oh, you had ice cream, yeah. Uh, I ended up having an amazing, amazing pastrami burger, which I totally recommend. Uh, I guess I might have misspoke a little bit because Arctic Circle has some really amazing hamburgers on their selection, which I know uh, Dairy Queen, like I mentioned, used to, but I don't know about the Dairy Queens in your area, but they've kind of scaled them back in Las Vegas, so they don't have that many choices for burgers on their uh, menu. So if you do ever see an Arctic Circle on your way in your travels or whatever, I totally recommend stopping by. Their their food is so delicious. We had a really good meal. Uh, today we're off to Stanley from Twin Falls. So we will talk to you later today, right, Taylor? Yeah? Okay. Bye. Bye. And the smoke continues. <laughs> and we've got our nice orange sun. If I can get it in there. Boop. Nice smoke sun. Oh yeah. We're just making a quick stop at the Haley Coffee Company because they make some amazing coffee here. If you ever pass through Haley, I definitely recommend them. We like the Colombian Har Horse coffee. It's a really strong, dark coffee. Uh, so I'm going to go and pop in here. It's right off the main street. Off Main Street. <laughs> and it's on West Walnut Street, if you can see the street sign. I'm gonna go in here and actually pick up some coffee for my sister because she's taking care of my hooligans, aka my animals, my fur babies. And we're gonna enjoy some nice coffee. So here's the coffee that we got from the Haley Coffee Company. I think I called it Colombian Har Horse. Whoopsie! <laughs> it's actually uh, Ethiopian. They used to call it the Ethiopian Hard Horse, but it was a couple years ago that we got the coffee from them. So maybe they just took the word Har Horse off of it. I don't know. But this is the one that we really like and my sister just to make sure I didn't get her anything too acidic or anything I just went ahead and got her a medium roast with the Peru so maybe I'll go ahead and let you guys know after she gets it maybe as like a follow-up video I don't know to see what kind of coffee she likes but they are really good full-bodied uh, real rich flavorful coffees so I do recommend uh, you can stop there if you're passing through or if you're you know wanting to order offline you can go ahead and do that too it's just a, a really you know small town coffee company that I like and I like to promote things that I like that I find that work for me and I'm always willing to you know support small businesses there's my tailor back there. <laughs> She's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm a little shy. She likes to be a little shy, but we're working on her. 
We're gonna we're gonna get her groove on. <laughs> get my groove on. Get hey. your groove on. Shake your money maker. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are enjoying a beautiful drive through the mountains from Sun Valley to Stanley. If you happen to come this way and it's not smoky outside, <laughs> there is a scenic overlook that we just passed that's absolutely breathtaking to stop at. And you can definitely have some great photo opportunities there. Uh, as you can see, not so much today. bug off. Well, actually, I didn't clean the squash bug because apparently I have short girl problems and I can't reach the windshield on the truck, so I needed some assistance with that. <laughs> so, we have new fresh dead bugs on the windshield. <laughs> okay, we'll be in Stanley next time uh, I turn on the video. This is our view for the next three nights. We're staying in Lower Stanley. At the Lower Stanley cabins and motels. As you can see, it's a really nice size. Here's the bathroom. There's Miss Taylor eating her lunch. <laughs> has a full kitchen. And it has heat in here for uh, the winter time. Sorry, I'm moving a chair. And then there's a nice ceiling fan. And then there's another bedroom in here. So you guys should check it out. Two queen size beds. I decided to just walk down to the river since it was just steps from my porch and just sit and just look at it. The river is actually really low this year compared to years past that we've been. Um, I've actually done a river rafting tour through the rapids. Oh geez, how many years ago is it? Probably at least seven or eight years ago. It's such a beautiful place. I really hope you can make it here one day. I really do. So peaceful. Try not to squint. <laughs> Try not to squint. <laughs> so relaxing. The sun came out, so that was nice. But the smoke is really, really thick. And you can barely see the mountains. Here, I'll flip it back again. You can just see... Um, an outline of the Sawtooth Mountains, like right there, the outline. Normally you can see those crystal clear. Maybe next year. If that's the case, then I will do another vlog. <laughs> Gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. If we make it to Redfish Lake, I'll go ahead and do a video there too. So we made it to Redfish Lake. So you can kind of see the Sawtooth Mountains in the background. 
and it's crowded with people having a good time. It's a beautiful day, perfect day to go out on the lake. Now this is called Redfish Lake because of the sockeyed salmon that uh, used to come here but have since stopped coming this way from the Pacific Ocean. They come about 900 miles and I want to say from what I read in 2019 they had roughly 419 sockeye salmon come down here and now they're an endangered, endangered species. Sorry, <laughs> I'll tongue died there. And if you are caught with one, it could be up to a $50,000 fine as well as imprisonment. So you definitely don't want to catch one of these when you're fishing, at least by mistake. Just trying to be respectful of people and not take video of anybody who doesn't want any unwanted video of themselves. I always try to be very cautious with that. And I apologize for any wind noise, but I cannot help Mother Nature. So it's such a beautiful place. We're actually thinking about doing a boat tour. If we do a boat tour, then um, I'll definitely take some more video of that. It's definitely a beautiful day to be out on the lake. My knee wasn't jacked up. I kind of hurt my knee. Not sure what I did if I strained it doing yoga the other day, but I would love to do one of those paddle boats. That would be so much fun. So this is Redfish Lake. Here's the lodge. This place books up really, really fast too with the reservation, so you definitely have to get them in early and know that you want to come and visit. Probably what, I think it's like 80, in the high 80s today. I think it was like 89 when I looked in the truck. I don't know, 84, 89, I don't know. All I know is I'm hot. <laughs> okay, on to the next adventure. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good night on August 16th. <laughs> I hope it was a good night for you. As you can see, it's pitch black here in Stanley. I'm trying not to fall off the stairs here. Seeing if I could get the moon. There's the moon in the background. And really quiet, you can hear the Salmon River, which is really nice. I was hoping that there would be more stars out so I could go ahead and show you the stars. If they do, if I'm up a little bit later and I run outside and I see if there's stars out there, I'll go ahead and point my camera at the sky so you can see the stars, but you can see it's nice and pitch black out here. I am actually using the light from the porch of our cabin just to have any type of light. otherwise. It'd be so super dark out here. And the moon, I don't know if you can see that it actually has like a orange glow. There, I got the moon in the palm of my hand. Anyhow, end of day two. I'm looking forward to day three. I hope I have some more uh, things to show you around Stanley because it's such a beautiful city. Until tomorrow, have a good night. Mm-hmm.